coordinates, translations, reflections, rotations, and lines of symmetry. These are the topics for our test on transformational geometry. Study the icons beside each picture as a quick summary of what these concepts mean. When it comes to coordinates, remember that you always need to read right and left first and then up and down. If we are looking at this map of Cape Breton Island and we want to find the location for Cape North, it's located at C5. C2 name the coordinates for Big Pond. Grace Bay can be found at coordinates D3. A figure is translated when it moves along a straight line from one point to another. Another word for translation is slide. Okay, let's talk about reflections. Remember when there's a reflection, you have to draw an object or a figure that is going to be congruent. Same size, same shape. Here's a mirror line, and here's the object we're going to draw. It's helpful sometimes to find the opposite points. I look here and I count the dots. One, two, three, and I want to find its partner. One, two, three. I'll make a dot here. Make a dot there, just to show where we're going to connect. And we can start with the baseline. You can see that it goes up here. We'll do the same. Now we'll do this side. And we run down, making this point here. And then we can connect. It's going to be symmetrical in the middle and each side has to be the same size and the same shape. This is called a reflection. Three lines of symmetry in this triangle. Let's consider this rhombus. Did we do this one correct? Let's test it with a mirror. If you look carefully, you can see that this is not drawn correctly. This is not a line of symmetry. You can see, perhaps the camera can pick it up, that the faint outlines do not match. This is not a line of symmetry. The mirror is on top and I see the faint outlines. This does not have a line of symmetry. Showing a transformation. Remember that an object always starts from figure to image. We need to say how has this changed. Always compare the same sides. Compare this side with this side. Remember that when you describe a translation, you must describe the movement from left to right first. The image has gone to the right. Now let's find out how many spaces it's moved. One, two, three, four, five, six. The next move you have to describe is whether it goes up or down. It's gone from figure to image, so we can see that it's moved down. D for down. And make sure you compare like images. We're going to compare the bottom with the bottom. One, two squares. So this correctly describes a translation. Right six, down two. One, two, and then out. One, two, and then outside. One, two, and then outside. So I've just created the corner points here. Then I notice that there's a connecting dot right one away from the center. So I'll make its matching partner. Then let's connect them. Now we have to do the same on the outside, and we're going to use the same principle. One out, one to the side to get the corners. And it's a matter of connecting the dots again. And finally this one. Connect the dots, and we create a nice snowflake.
When it comes to making rotations, it's helpful to think of a clock. If you think of the positions on the clock, when you go from 12 to 3, that's a quarter rotation. From 12 to 6, a half rotation. From 12 to 9, a three-quarter clockwise rotation. If we were at the 9 and we ended up at the 12, this would be a one-quarter, one-half, a three-quarter counterclockwise rotation. There's our center point. Imagine this kite looking at itself in the mirror. I notice that it's got two center points, so I'm going to find the tip here. I notice that it's one, two, three dots away. One, two, three dots away. There's my corner. Now let's get the sides. I notice that it's one away from the center and then out in each direction. Okay, so now it's a matter of just connecting the dots. And then we're going to come toward the center. And we've created our kite. This is a half turn clockwise rotation. It's also the same as a reflection. A reflection and a half rotation are going to end up with the same thing, same picture.